Welcome to Earth's Mightiest Weirdos. How is everybody doing this evening? Sorry, Mark. I was clicking on something and it kept going back up. <laughs> no Perfect. worries. All right. Mark Valentine, how are you this evening? I am doing very well. Thank you so much. I am excited. This is the main event for me this week. The you know I love event. me. Yeah, you know I love me some fan casting. So when you told us the topic that we would be fan casting, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men that have yet to appear in the MCU, I like I pushed my chips to the center of the table. I was all in. Well, there you go. We're like Genie Plus launches tomorrow and you're calling this the main event. This is it. All right. Well, there we go. Mark Adams, how are you this evening? Stop doing that. Are Mark you all is frozen? Am I? No, no, there you're back. How are you, Mark? Oh. Uh doing well. I I didn't know I was El doing my best Elsa impression. My apologies. <laughs> and Rob, the man of the hour. Every hour of every day, Rob is the man of the hour. How does that feel? I, it, it's tiring. I think. I think it's very tiring. This is my this is my fun thing for the week. I'm so excited we get to hang out. This is guy time right now. We get to do this. I do not know what we would do if Earth's Mightiest Weirdos was broadcasted live on a night where they do hold. Halloween Horror Nights, because I don't think we could get the bottom two guys to be with us every Monday, <laughs> September through October. So, well, let's get into it. There is some Marvel news, not fantastic Marvel news, um, and we're going to get the world according to Jax while he breaks down this Marvel news for us. What's up? Um, I don't know. All right. Well, there was news today, right? So they yeah. were still getting new movies from Marvel Studios. The first one is Eternals. That is still coming out in a couple of weeks on November 5th. Get your tickets now. Spider-Man No Way Home is still out on December 17th. But Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness has been pushed back from March to May 6th. What does that make you feel? I don't like their ideas on that. Well, why not? Because Doctor Strange is one of my top five favorite Marvel characters, and I want another movie really you, bad. You want his movie to come out soon? Okay. Three of them, obviously. So you're looking forward to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? So yeah. because of that, Thor 4, Thor 11 Thunder is also pushed back to July. I've heard of this one not, not a lot. Yeah, okay. So we get Gore the God Butcher in that one. That one sounds a little frightening, huh? Yeah. And then instead of July, November of 2022 is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yeah, I'm upset with that one. Yeah. He's my first favorite Marvel character yeah. ever. Yeah. So we don't know what's going to happen with Black Panther, but there's a lot of production delays with all of this. The good news is, is there was news out of IATSE, the filming union, that an agreement has been reached, hasn't been signed yet, hasn't been ratified. So we still have some stuff, but these production delays are just causing these movies to roll back down. The good news is we're still getting Marvel in December, but because Black Panther's now in November, it'll be a Thanksgiving movie. Okay. The Marvels comes out in February. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 still in May of 2023, but then you were also not happy about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania getting yeah, pushed back. No. You still want to see every single movie? Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. Well, anything else you want to tell everybody? Oh, no. Tell them to tune in to United We Fan Kids anywhere you find your podcast. You and Bella talked about um our first our first five favorite um disney animated movies just disney movies in general because bella bella didn't go near as animated as you did huh no all right well thanks buddy have a good day welcome dad that is the world according to Jax. he's breaking down the news for us this week mark how does this make you feel mark adams how does this make you feel about the production delays i mean it's not an overly shocking thing I, I wasn't happy, but the nail in the coffin for me was Indiana Jones 5 was pushed back to 2023. Almost a year, yeah. That, that, like, honestly, that one hit me a lot harder than the Marvel. The Marvel, we got a lot of Marvel. Like, we're going to get, like, some patches here and there. But Indy, it's, it's not as bad as Avatar. And those delays, but man, I just I need this indie movie to come out. Are we ever going to get that Avatar movie? I don't know. I, I was, mean, December of twenty twenty two is what they said. I was I was waiting for Disney to announce the delay for that too. We built a, we built a whole land waiting for movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll we'll see. Uh, but we have a lot of fan casting to get into. There is not much other news to get into, so I say we get into fan casting. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Mark, 
Valentine has been very, very excited about this. So, Mark, I'm going to put the ball in your court. Do we start with the Fantastic Four yeah. or do you want to start with the X-Men? No, let's start with the Fantastic Four because, listen, oh. let's start with this. Let's start right away with the stake. Let's get right into the main course, gentlemen. So How excited he is. I if know. I can, so if I can, because mine is a perfect pairing, like the perfect wine and cheese that go together. I, if you would allow me, I would like to do my Reed Richards and Sue Storm at the same time. And I'm not going to do anything except say, for those of you that are fans and for the internet, I'm just going to try to validate all of the things that you feel because you know who I want to see in these roles more than anything else. The internet has already decried it. Kevin Feige, make it happen. I need John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Look at her being invisible. <laughs> Look at her. She's so, so invisible. She's so invisible. But like, she's, wait, like, can we be honest? She's invisible except for her face and one boob. <laughs> <laughs> but it has the four on it, so you got to have the logo. Yeah, she was she was starting to go invisible. <laughs> I love I love the two of them. I can be sold on taking Emily Blunt out. She's right. So just as a this is a true fan casting. Emily Blunt has already said in not so many words she does not not want to be a part of the MCU. She does not really like this the style of movie. Although if they threw enough money at her, I'm sure that she could come around on the idea. But I don't think that Kevin Feige would ever do that unless John Krasinski is, in fact, Reed Richards. And it's kind of like part of the deal that he says, if I'm going to come on, I really want Emily to play Sue. But if I can't get that couple because I just think they're the most adorable thing ever. But I think John Krasinski could be a really great Reed Richards. My second, I want Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones and the Tudors to be my Sue Storm. If I can't get Emily Blunt. Technically, Natalie Dormer has been in the MCU already. Yes. She was the girl that Captain America kissed and made Peggy Carter all jealous. But that would be an easy one to rectify. That wouldn't be much of an issue. Mark Adams, you're getting frustrated with my technicality down there. Mark Adams, who is your Reed Richards and Sue Storm married couple? Um, they don't obviously I, have to be married to each other. But. I do like Mark's hopeful, the popular fan casting. Um, so I went way out of the box with possibly Glenn Howerton from Always Sunny. He was originally supposed to be Star Lord, didn't happen. I thought he'd be funny. Um, Jackson Harper, Brian, you brought that up. I thought that was fun from The Good Place. Um, yeah, Will and, William Jackson Harper, he played Cheaty and yeah, on, uh, on yep. The Good Place. Yep, I thought he'd be fun. Um, for Sue Storm. I thought maybe thinking out of the box again, Rachel Ziegler, she's going to be in West Side Story. She's in Shazam 2. Um, Olivia Cook from Ready Player One. And then Jody. Is, is Mark, is Mark going to get 15 picks before everybody gets to go on every one? And then last, before I was rudely interrupted, Jody Comer from Free Guy, Free Guy in the Last Duel. And then I'm done. See, Rob, it's over before you interrupted. <laughs> what if I had one of those last, like, three people Look, and you just took yeah. six Hey, picks? here's the thing. I got excited for Reed Richards and Sue Storm. After that, it's, like, one and maybe two. So after this, it's all y'all. <laughs> Listen, he understood the assignment. <laughs> Thank you. I understood the if assignment. You, if you are in the comments and you have any casting ideas, absolutely please let us know as well. Now, I do want to say before we get too far into it of giving credit where credit is due, and we'll talk about this specifically when we get to Wolverine, but I want to go back on last week's when I talked about Mark Hamill potentially playing Santa Claus in the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Big shout out to a weirdo who we've had here on many times, Kevin. Kevin is the one that helped me piece that together. So I did not give him the credit he was due last week. So Kevin, thank you so much for helping me piece that together. There's going to be a couple other times where I want to make sure we give credit tonight. But Rob, Sue Storm, Ree Richards, who do you got? All right. This was, by the way, not a fun assignment for me because I realized that I only watch superhero movies and then reality TV and game shows. So it was really... This was work, but I am really proud. So, Rob, are we going to get my to it before one. you list what you watch? Or are we going to get to it? When are we yeah. getting to it, Rob? Every, this is my favorite is, one. Yeah, every pick is Pat Sajak. <laughs> you can tell the 
and and you could tell the age group because you had to pick the right age group for these characters right. depending on where you saw the story going. Reed Richards, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, and Sue Storm, like uh, Chloe Moretz from Kick Ass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I that would it. be an awesome two to build the Fantastic Four fa franchise around. I was really proud of those. I thought that would be amazing. I don't love I, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and I, I, I'm probably on the, in the minority here. I, I, I mean, are. he'd be fine, but uh, like, I don't know. I, I, don't I don't maybe see it was him just him in the Dark Knight Rises. I think he's a talented actor, but I don't see it. But it's fun though. He's getting to the age. That. I think he'd slide right in. Silver streaks on the hair. So John, or uh, excuse me, John Krasinski. No, uh, honestly, I don't even think John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are the best married couple to play Reed Richards and Sue Storm. I would Ooh. actually love to see Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis uh. play. I think that'd be fun. Uh, I just wanted to go. I, I just wanted to poke you with. That I have there, Mark. no man. I have Kushlash. I, I'm. <laughs> um, I'm good with I'm good with him staying out, sitting out this film. Um, I, I have more Ming. problem with Mila Kunis. I think you could save her for a bigger crazy villain role or something that she could really go nuts in. So being like I said, full transparency, the William Jackson Harper from Cheaty on a, on the Good Place was not my idea. That uh, place I first heard it was the MCU Fan Show podcast and Sean Gerber. But once I heard it, I think. Uh, my wife says Zachary Levi from DC to be Reed Richards. He I technically again has been in the MCU before. He was one of the um, uh, Warriors three, but again, an easy an easy recast there. You could definitely pull that off. I like that. Um, Not many people remember the Warriors three, man. So that could no, work. that well, is true. The they kind of got, yeah, got the shot. Yeah, they got the shot after the third yes. one. My number one for Reed Richards is Bill Hader. Uh, I would love I to see Bill it. Hader as Reed Richards. Uh, for me and Sue Storm, I sorry, I need to go back to my notes because I can't remember who I wrote down. So it depends on where they want to go. I think Journey Smollett, who was an actress in Lovecraft Country, I think she would be a good uh, Sue Storm. I also would love to see Margot Robbie in that role. I think she would be really good in that role as well. Uh, let's start back down with Rob. He can go before Mark this time. Rob, who do you have as your <laughs> Ben Grimm, the thing? This one was rough. I settled on my number one, uh, Drew Powell. He played uh, Solomon Grundy in the uh, in the Gotham series. I could see I to, him. I being need to a get this fit. ready for the rest of the night. Who? 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 So he's from who? Gotham. <laughs> He's from Who? Gotham. He 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 made a transformation from a regular character into the villain too, and kind of fit. Um, I I thought that would be a, a good thing. The only other one I wrote down, I thought it might be a little fun, was uh, was John Cena. <laughs> and the his name is John Cena. He could be the Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's already been taken by Dave Bautista. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Adams. Uh John Cena, I it's a popular choice. I had it on my list, but then for outside the box, I put Rupert Grint, you know, from Harry Potter, and he's done other stuff. I think Ron be, Weasley, he can bring it. I, I'm throwing Rupert Grint out there as Ben Grimm. Interesting. Wow, that is bold move, Cotton. Patron of this Diz Life, Jeffrey <laughs> uh, Anthony Laurie says Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I love uh, that. Straight out of uh, The Walking Dead. That's pretty interesting. I like Mark I, Valentine. I I felt like they was too old to to do to you're going to start the franchise. That's why I didn't go with Jeffrey Dean. Okay, Rob, so my, he's technically in a DC movie already with Watchmen. Mark, I'm. It has nothing to do with DC. It has everything to do with the MCU. Oh, preempting you. Don't get fired up. <laughs> Mark, Valentine. Mark, are you trying to be cast as Johnny Storm? Because that was a burn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so my uh, so my pick. My peck for uh, Ben Grimm comes to us. So he's been in a Marvel movie as Sabretooth, but I would really like to see Lee Schreiber Ooh. put on the, yeah, I'd like to see him put on the, I think he would be great. I think he's got the personality for it. That I just think good. he would, I would, he would kill it, man. He would kill it yeah. as Ben. Yeah. Seth Rogen. I don't want anybody to be 
Ben Grimm than Seth Rogen. I think Seth Rogen would be really, really fun. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't. Uh, it's, it's a different take on the character. It, it, it's more comic booky. I like it. Is yeah. that Matt? So, so B. Ferg, who is that meth for? Is that for leave or is that for uh, Seth Rogen? Uh, so Johnny Storm. There again. There's two ways they can go. Like especially if Sue Storm is played by Journey Smollett, then I would like Johnny Storm to be played by John Boyega. I think he would be Ooh. a really good, arrogant Johnny Storm. Um, or if they went uh, more more traditional route, um, Dacre Montgomery, who is the poor man's version of Zac Efron that was in season three of Stranger Things and among many other things. But I think he yes. would be a really good yeah. Johnny Storm. Okay. This comment right here, if he wasn't a Ready Red Guardian, David Harbour for Ben. As the thing. Grimm, yep. Oh, man. I thought about that too, but again. Spot on. Yep. He was my first go-to, and then I was like, oh, but wait. He's in the MCU, and he's probably going to get more work in the MCU. Yeah. But so, okay. Hopefully. John Boyega or or Dacre Montgomery for me um, as, as Johnny Storm. Mark Valentine, what about you? Listen, man. Johnny Storm has to be hot. He's got to be a hot shot. He's got to be smooth. He's got to be suave. <laughs> Who is hotter than Zac Efron? He is a flaming ball of sexual energy that the ladies will love him. The men will want to be him. He is the perfect Johnny Storm, the attitude and all. Zac Efron. Mark is like losing his mind right now. Isn't I think he a little old. Listen, he's oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> you tell him to his face that he's old. Yeah, I think the I think the work he's had done recently is going to tell him to himself whoa. that he's old. Whoa! Wow! Shame, body shame. I, I'm I not thought, body I, shaming. I thought Mark was cringing, and now I'm coming. Mark, I do you like that pick. I no, I had Zac Efron on my list, Brian. I love your casting choices. Um, the only one I'm going to throw out there is um, Phil Dub, Jamie Tart, and Ted Lasso. Ooh, that would Johnny be Storm. Do, 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 yeah. Do, do. So, but Storm. I love y'all's. I love y'all's. Um, I'm just going to throw out Jamie Tart. Throw it there. See, and look. Here you go. The fans have spoken. I would watch anything with Zac Efron. There you go. Of course. Of course, Kara would. Oh. Whoa. And I don't Brian, Brian's giving me love. I like it. I, I don't I don't mind it. I went with little younger casting because I think I wanted to build this franchise up a little more. For my Johnny Storm, I picked Joe Keery, who you may know as Steve from Steve Stranger Harrington. Things. Yeah. I yep. think I think Wait, Steve what? would make a good Johnny Storm. Steve Harrington. He's from Free Guy. He's in Free Guy and he's in, he's Steve Harrington oh. Stranger Thing. Oh. He's he's John Ralphio's son. You think he's like enough to be Johnny Storm, like he can pull. It I off? think I, I I think he's getting there, and and, and you got to think more of the Tom Holland age group. I think if we're going to build a franchise, I, I don't want to see the people that I'm thinking of as a middle aged man almost. You know, I don't want to do that. Oh man, <laughs> Zac Efron's getting so. Much. I know. <laughs> Rob, and you, and you mean, got Marco. I mean, Ma Ma Rob Mark's body. Like, Rob Mark's, middle aged Mark's man. like a cool. Rob middle aged man Mark's like a me cougar in a baseball game. So I, I Rob just comes after everyone. So I'm just but like Mark sounds like one of those cougars on TikTok where he's just he, he, Zach Efron. He's he's we need somebody hot. Like what, you mean, know, it's what like, do you mean sound what do you mean sounds like? <laughs> I am I am one of those cougars on TikTok. I also I also um I mean I'm shaming you for Zach Efron and I went with the poor man's version of Zach Efron in Dacre Montgomery who looks I like, that. like he's trying to be Zach Efron. So I mean I get I it. like the Red Ranger. I like him. My F the Red Ranger. My That's FYP right. my FYP might be filled with Zach Efron. You don't even know. You don't even Whoa. know. <laughs> Let's round out the Fantastic Four by a primarily Fantastic Four villain. Mark Adams, we're gonna start with you, Dr. Victor Von Doom. Um, I, I have, um, Lakeith Stanfield, you know, Knives Love Out, and then it. also Love Sterling K. Brown from This Is Us. So I have I those two. It. I won't say it, but he's already in the MCU. Oh, oh my God. How did I forget that? Sorry. Brian, thank you for that. I totally, God, I can't, then I'm just going to go Lakeith Stanfield then. This is when it gets hard, though. Like, but we talked no, about Lakeith Stanfield many times on United uh, Fan too. 
I'm so. so mad I forgot about that. But, yeah, Lakeith Stanfield, Oscar winner. So, yeah, I'd go with him. Mark Valentine, you teased this with your Victor Von Doon, so I'm going to skip you for just a minute and go to Rob, Ooh. and then we'll come back to you. Uh, my number one choice, and uh, we mentioned him for another role, but this is where I was going to put Liev Shriver. I thought he would make a great Victor Ooh. Von Doon. And uh, as a fun little backup, my, I don't know if it would be too old for the role at this point with the eight groups I chose, but I was thinking maybe Liam Neeson back there would be fun if you wanted to get a big-time actor. I could see him with his voice behind that mask. Scary Von Doom. Anthony says West Bentley. Does anybody know who West Bentley is? I do not. Oh, my God. Why does that name sound familiar? Uh, it's going to be somebody on, we know, just not by name. Come on, IMDb. Mark Valentine, who do you want to poke the oh, bear? Oh, yeah, from American Beauty and um, American Horror Story, like, two seasons. He was in Interstellar and Hunger Games. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, He, would he was the good. weird kid okay, with actually. the video camera in uh, American Beauty. Okay. So I think I, I think that my pick's got the look, again, the attitude, um, and he's got some really great acting chops. We want to take him away from DC as well, and that's uh, Cillian Murphy. He would be great as Victor Von Doom. <sighs> You know, you know him in uh, Peaky Blinders. He's just so solid, man. He's so good in everything he does. I think he's just like he's got that look about him too. That just his natural look is is just like he, he can do evil better than anybody else. He's got like resting, like you know, whatever face, like resting villain face. Cillian Murphy. He'd be so great as Victor Von Doom. RBF. All right. Mark's not feeling it. Yeah, Mark's not feeling it. Mark is not feeling it. My Doctor Doom, if they want to go, I, I, there's a couple ways they could go about it. If it was going to be kind of a, I mean, you can't do Victor Von Doom in one film and then just be over with it. Uh, I think John Hamm would actually be a lot of fun oh, in, in that yeah. role. Uh, yeah. John yeah. Hamm, or actually my number one, though, is... And I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he was Jamie Lannister in Game of Thrones, Nikolaj Kostar Waldau. Yes. Um, he's kind of got that Eastern European look to him already. He could very, uh, very well be from from Latveria. Um, this has been a little bit out of out of uh, all over the place in a minute. So, Mark Valentine, go ahead and recast us your Fantastic Four and and Doctor Doom before we reset for the X Men. Okay, so John Krasinski. And Emily Blunt, if we can get her, if not, Natalie Dormer. Leave Schreiber as Ben Grimm. Zach Efron as a red-hot Johnny Storm. And Cillian Murphy as Victor Von Doom. I don't, I don't know Cillian Murphy uh, much at all. What did you said he was in DC? He's the scary Batman he's the Begins. Hero. Yeah, he's in all the Batman movies. He's the oh, he's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually like that a lot. I didn't know, I did not know that was his name. Dunkirk, yeah, if, 28 Days Later. Um, I mean, I guess if Christopher Nolan's making the movie, then we can just very much assume he'll be in it. But, yeah. But we know that we know that John Watts is making the Fantastic Four film. Yep. So. We, you have to check out Peaky Blinders on Netflix, man. You'll really enjoy it. Yeah. I heard I have to watch it with subtitles. subtitles. Mark Adams, can you please recap your top choices for your Fantastic Four? Uh, let's see. What did Mark say? Um, William Jackson Harper, Reed Richards, Sue Storm. I'm going to go Junie Comer, um, Ben Grimm. I'm going to do Rupert Grint, um, Johnny Storm. I will do Phil Dubster, Jimmy Tart. Um, and then for Dr. Doom, uh, Lakeith Stanfield. And then I have a fun bonus casting when we get to the bonus rounds later for Fantastic is, Four. Is it a Fantastic Four bonus cast? Go ahead and give it to us. Yeah. Now. Um, so I, since our homework, like was like maybe like two fun add-ons, I went and did one for Fantastic Four, one for X-Men for my Silver Surfer. I did either Anthony Ramos from, um, Hamilton and in the Heights, but also Lin-Manuel. So oh, I thought of them for Silver Surfer. Dude, I couldn't gonna... handle, I couldn't handle Lin-Manuel as the Silver Surfer. Why? <laughs> How okay, did I not think to fine. cast the Silver Surfer? Like, then I fine, Anthony Ramos this. from In the Heights. Then Silver Surfer. I like it. Interesting. <laughs> I, I'm going to think for the rest of the show on who I want as my Silver Surfer. Rob, recast, re yes, or re whatever your Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom for us. Uh, let's do it, Mister Fantastic. Joseph Gordon Levitt, Chloe Moretz as Sue Storm, Ben Grim, Grim Drew Powell, Johnny Storm, Joe Keery. Dr. Doom, Liev Schreiber, and uh, that's it. 
I like that, man. I think that's solid. I like all of ours, man. We, we came, everybody dug deep. I'm very, very impressed with these. I didn't I, dig. No, 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 I'll throw myself under the bus, dude. I did not dig deep on, on Reed or Sue. I just borrowed the, the fan casting. That yeah, you, you're right. You did it. You, you did I, it there. I, we were no, just being I, nice I, to you, Mark. Yeah, we were just being nice. All, all compliments, all compliments rescinded. Uh, for me, Reed <laughs> Richards, again, William Jackson Harper, just like Mark or Bill Hader, uh, Journey Smollett or Margot Robbie for Sue Storm. Ben Grimm, <laughs> Johnny Storm, John Boyega, or Dacre Montgomery, and Doctor Doom, John Hamm, or Jamie Lannister. Because again, it's, it's, Lannister Ni be it's Nicol Nicolaj. Nicol Nicolaj. All right, let's get into it. No, no. Let's try and we can try and be a little bit more. Um, uh, give each other the floor a little bit, not yell at each other so much. Cool. Well, the fantastic four are going to do that. It's going to happen with the fantastic. I know. Four. It's the first family of the Marvel universe. So everyone's going to get a little hot and bothered by that one. So my contract says I can yell, especially if Zach Efron is not we're going to get hot and bothered. Right, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it is Rob, Efron. Rob, let's start with your Wolverine. Oof, you're starting big. Um, I thought, obviously, this was a hard one. Who's going to beat Hugh Jackman? If we're going to start the franchise over, my my young starting Wolverine is Jacob Bertrand, who plays Hawk in Cobra Kai. And I thought that would be a great young way to start. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. It is. If we're going slightly older, and if he, uh, if he went on the Marvel diet that all the great actors went, I thought maybe... Uh, Captain of the original Mighty Ducks, Charlie Conway, Joshua Jackson might be able to uh, be a Wolverine as well. I don't hate it. Nice. like it. Mark Adams, I believe you're going where I'm going. And shout out to listener of Earth's Mightiest Weirdos, Jim Scroggs, for giving me this idea. Yep. And uh, we, we talked about it, and I think we both really like it. Uh, do you, I'll leave it to you since it was you. I got it from you, so no, I'll leave no, it to no. you. Well, I mean, no, go ahead. Um, and Roy Kent, but also um, when you threw them, I think it was on one of our episodes, I also threw out there as Daniel Radcliffe. Um, just seeing him, some of his action, like more intense movies, I think it was, um, I forgot which, oh man, I can't, I'm blanking on now. But Daniel Radcliffe is a good height for Wolverine, um, and he can bring the heat. Akio Radcliffe. I really hope you're casting Emma Watson at some point. Mark Ballantyne. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, technically he has been in the MCU and he's dead, but I don't know if many people will remember Carl Urban, but I, oh, I'm i all in on Carl Urban from The Boys. I mean, just look at, look at how badass he would look as Wolverine. He looks the part. He's got the attitude for the part. He'd be a worthy successor to you, Jackman. Carl Urban gets my unanimous vote. Carl Urban I, for Wolverine. I need Behold him to do more myself. Dread and Star Trek. I need more Carl Urban for that. I just need more Carl Urban, period. Can we all agree, gentlemen? Yeah. yeah. Des and Troy. Together, <laughs> they destroy. Mark said it for me. My, my number one is... Brett Goldstein, who is Roy Kent on Ted Lasso. I am wearing an AFC Richmond jersey tonight as a call out to our two part episode on United We Fan. Part one for Ted Lasso season two is already available. Part two will be available this coming Wednesday. If it's not going to be Brett Goldstein, I think Scott Kahn would be an absolute blast as Wolverine. Um, he's mainly from, I mean, you might recognize him most as one of the two. Uh, Utah Twins in Come on Brian say Oceans, it in Ocean's 11? No, come on um, Brian. Come on Scott Brian. Scott Con is also I don't know. I mean he's on Hawaii 50. No, no, like, Brian, you know what movie know. to say. It's a sports movie, Brian. Come on. Scott Con? Yeah. In a sports movie? A football movie. Oh yeah, he's in Varsity Blues. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also in Gone in 60 Seconds. Uh so Scott Con I think would be kind of fun. He's I, I don't know what Scott Kahn's done recently, but he was in we'll Entourage go, as well. I just want to throw that he up. He was in Entourage. Oh, you're correct. Oh, that's a good show. Mark Mark Valentine, who is your Storm? Uh, I had a I had a really tough time with this one because I think both of these people would be really amazing. 
Um, I just I want to see Thandie Newton somewhere in the MCU. I love her oh. Westworld. I loved her in Star Wars. We just talked about Solo. I I really like her. Like I just love the way that she looks. If I can get Thandie Newton to play Storm, then I would settle for Zoe Kravitz. I mean, I think Zoe Kravitz would be really great in this role. She's awesome in Pretty Little Liars. She's just awesome, period. So I couldn't decide between the two, so I cheated. Real quick to Dwayne. Dwayne says he loves Scott Conn, but he's not big enough. That's one of the most big misconceptions about Wolverine is Wolverine's like 5'7". He's a, sure. he's a kind of a tiny I think he's dude. like – I think he's shorter than 5'. Yeah, he's short. Yeah, he's a tiny dude. Uh, Anthony says Taron Edgerton from Kingsman being Ooh. Wolverine. That's a popular one. That's, that one's not bad. I actually think with Taron Edgerton would be better as a Cyclops, personally. Settling for Zoe Kravitz as Storm for me is a pretty darn good settling se yeah. situation. Um, she looks really good. She looks like she's going to be really good in the Batman as Selina Kyle. I'm really excited for that Batman. There's a new trailer for that. Um, I think that would be really good. I also have Issa Rae, who is in a show um called what is it called insecure on hbo max um she's also been cast as a voice in the next spider-verse movie i think Issa ray would actually also be a really good um storm uh rob who do you have for storm uh i went through a bunch of names but the one i settled on was and i hope i pronounced the name right is uh sonica martin green she's sasha on walking dead she was tamara in once upon a time nice uh, she was in star trek discovery i think she would really really fit well and thinking of bigger storylines where i know storm ends up in wakanda and stuff if they use that down the line i could really see her fitting right into that world i like that that's a good pick i considered her strongly considered her because i like her in the walking dead that's a good pick mark adams uh, I went with uh, Michaela Cole, a recent Emmy winner for I May Destroy You. Um, I will admit I'm new to the show, but what I have seen of her and then just hear see her in interviews, I thought of Sue Storm right away. Sue Storm or just Storm Storm? Storm. Oh, sorry. Storm. Storm. My bad. Okay. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. Um, My bad. It, it, Sorry, I'm it, still it is thinking possible. about Fantastic Four. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, you're good. Uh, it is possible. Michaela Cole, there's been rumors around her um, already oh. that that could be headed our way. Um, that's a that's a great choice. I I think that's possible. She's at least been rumored um, to be tied to it. Let's stick with the main X-Men. Let's go with Cyclops. Mark Valentine. Um, I went a little old gentleman with Cyclops, so forgive me, but I just think, I, I think he looks the part, I think he's dead on. And so my, my Cyclops, again, this depends on age, but my Cyclops is Chris Pine. I think he'd be I amazing. Think I think it's easier to pull off no matter the age because his eyes are covered. So you can, I, yeah, I think he would, I think he would really work. Like I think Chris Pine would just be an amazing Cyclops. Finally get him in the MCU. Yeah. Rob Cyclops. I, I went younger with most of my characters, except for Professor X and Magneto. But for Cyclops, I also went with, from a Gotham star, uh, David <laughs> Mizzou, who plays Bruce Wayne. What'd I say? Nothing. Not Anthony, Anthony said Stevie Wonder in the comments. <laughs> Sorry, I, mean, I, look, I looked down for two seconds to read. <laughs> I know. Um, but I went. Uh, I went with David Mizzou. He played. Uh, Bruce, he played Bruce Wayne in the Gotham series. I think he. Uh, he's coming in. That would be a good age now for him to come in as a Cyclops. Interesting. I don't hate that. Marky. Yeah. Marky Mark. Uh, Patrick, shout out to you. I do like Naomi Harris. Very talented. Uh, Storm. I wouldn't be mad. Uh, for Cyclops, I'm gonna go George uh, McKay um, from 1917. Brilliant flick. And I think he could bring it. The um, is preppy he, boy, is he the tall charm. one. Yeah, he's the one that. Never mind. I won't say it in case people Ooh. haven't seen it. <laughs> Look, I went off the radar with some of these. I'm good with that. That's the MCU way. Sometimes you got to so do that. I, you got to. So it. I went. I went super. This is what Brian wants. Brian wants this person in the MCU really, really bad. I think Andy Samberg would be a lot of fun as Cyclops. I'm not gonna <laughs> like, lie. Uh, but my number one, you, Seth, and Andy Rod, Sandberg. yeah, hot, hot <laughs> Rod in the MCU. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I got Bill Hader. I got <laughs> well, Seth, had, like I was, Seth Rogen's not. Oh, you do? Wow. Yeah, I'm waiting for Dave McBride to show up. Well, no, you ruined it. You t- you just spoiled. No, I'm just kidding. With the chunk of metal uh, in his head, and then he could go up to then he could go up to Cyclops and be like, "I have some acid. You want to do it? I'll do it." <laughs> you need you need to, <laughs> balls, man. We just ran over a small bus. You need to give Andy Samberg more credit. I think he would actually be a really fun psych Cyclops. But my number one, <laughs> and I think this will actually make Mark Valentine really happy is Alden Ehrenreich, who is most known as Han Solo from Solo, A Star Wars Story. I'm in. <laughs> I'm yes. in. Yes. I, yep. Chris, Chris, I'm sorry. I want some of that. I want some of that right there. Let's cast Let's cast who was in the deleted scene. Well, we all know who was in the deleted scene from WandaVision as Professor Xavier was Pat Sajak. So let's cast who our future Professor Xavier is going to be. Mark Valentine. All right. So I had to bald him out to give you guys the visuals here for those oh, that are God. watching this on YouTube <laughs> because he's too, he's too pretty, but let's just say he's, he is done now with his stint as Ian Fleming's James Bond. So we can finally welcome Daniel Craig <laughs> to the MCU. <laughs> and I've balded him out and put him up on screen, head over to YouTube dot com slash this is life to see daniel craig in all his glorious bald splendor as professor charles xavier mic drop gentlemen you need to hit the cord that is awesome because that's that's incredible i love that very, it looks very like much. boss baby <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with I'm, I'm okay with that. He was actually the only other person on my list, not the one I settled on, but a great one. That was awesome. <laughs> I love it. Mark, Mark, we'll give you a chance to actually stop laughing. Rob, go ahead. Who is your professor, Xavier? After thinking a lot, I went with Ralph Fiennes. You could have came over to Daniel Craig. You could have joined me at, at Daniel I Craig. Could've, I, I could have, but, but, you, but and, I, and, and by the way, picking Professor X and, and Magneto, you could, uh, you could, um, you could pick either. You could, you could Brian Ferguson says it. that looks like Doctor Evil. <laughs> so my apology because I unknowingly, I unknowingly just destroyed the whole show, gentlemen. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night. My apologies. Way to distract Mark. Ralph Fiennes. What do you know Ralph Fiennes from, Rob? Get, help the people that may not know who Ralph Fiennes is because he's he's a good call. Um, Harry po- Harry Potter movies. <laughs> the why English don't we start, patient. Why don't we start there? The English patient. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ralph Fiennes. Who was he in the Harry Potter movies? Oh yeah, he was Voldemort. Yeah, yeah you know, a just little a little. Role. Role. Oh, Brian, I thought you were joking, Brian. No, I was there. He's also yeah. M in the new Bond movies. Yeah, he's also Al- he's also yeah. Alfred in the Lego movies. Yep. Yes. Oh yeah, Marky Mark. Who is your professor, Xavier? Uh, I don't have a visual, so I apologize, but. I went with Simon Pegg. Yeah. Sean of the Dead, um, Ready Player One, Star Trek, Scott A. Montgomery Scott. I would, um, yeah. I would need to see it. I can't picture that one. Well, if you guys had done your homework like me and balled it out <laughs> Daniel Craig, more people would get that visual. Uh, unfortunately, though, I and I apologize, Anthony is going to like lose sleep tonight because he said that's nightmare fuel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's Colin O'Donohue? Because Captain Patrick Mark. in the he's comments, a hook on oh, oh he's hooked time. from. Yeah. He's a handsome man. Yes, I like that. Is. I like that. Uh, my Professor Xavier, and honestly, I came down to two on Professor Xavier, and I moved one of them to Magneto. If we do an older yeah. Magneto, my Professor X, I want the man himself, Obi Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. Uh, uh, I'd have to see him bald. Oh my yeah, god! You have to see him bald, but <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'll work on that. Uh, so I want you, McGregor, and my second place for Professor X, who is my number one for Magneto, is Brian Cranston. I think if we'll you get on. Walter White as Magneto, I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh. But if we're gonna go younger, if we're gonna go younger Magneto and kind of play with the play with the character a little bit, make him a little more, a little more fun, a little bit more joyous. For lack of a better term, I want Ben Schwartz, who played John Ralphio on Parks and Rec. 
He can play a more serious role. I think he'd be a really fun Magneto. Marky Mark does not agree, and I don't. I don't care. No Mark says he's over there, like he's the worst. <laughs> don't that... be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. Rob, suspicious. who do you or not, Rob, uh, Marky Mark? Who do you have for Magneto? Um, I laughed when you said Brian Cranston because I thought about Bob Odenkirk, who plays Better Call Saul. Uh, yeah. I thought about yeah. him for Magneto. But I also thought Idris Elba, but then again, I would cast him in anything. And also um, Josh <laughs> O'Connor, Josh O'Connor, Emmy winner for The Crown, who played uh, Prince Charles. I, I think he would be wonderful. I, I apparently love British actors. So Apparently. Yeah. Idris, Elba, Idris Elba would be a hard one to recast from his role as Heimdall. Yeah, that but, would yeah. be a little more difficult. I, I would go more Josh O'Connor from The Crown. So Don't feel Mark bad about Mark. putting a, a British actor there. I did the same thing. Uh, but I went with Jason Isaacs, that most people know as Lucius Malfoy. He's yeah. terrifying with that, hair. That's a I good mean, one. <laughs> he would be. He would be. I mean, the thing about Jason Isaacs though is he can play as older, and he he still can get away with a younger Magneto, depending on you know depending on the storyline. But like he's got acting chops. I think he would be really great. He's awesome in Black Hawk Down. Most people know him in uh, from The Patriot. That you know like, he plays a good. Yeah. He plays a good villain. He just plays a great villain. He would be an amazing Magneto. But I mean, that uh, hair. Michael Fassbender, that was frightening. Yeah, Fassbender. <laughs> let's see that. Magneto. Let's see that Maybelline poster again, Mark. Yeah, man. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe he's born with it. <laughs> yeah, and they could very well take. They could very well take Michael Fassbender and bring him back like that. There's, they could. there's no reason they couldn't. And, and I he was good. Off, who was who was Professor X? Who was? Charles Xavier. I mean, McAvoy. McAvoy. Let's, they let's not for, him back too. forget all what Piano Rob looked like with long hair as Magneto. Let's not if you pull up a, if out. you pull up a clip, I'm gonna be very upset. So I thought this was <laughs> Piano Rob. That that's I pulled oh, his website. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rob, who do you have as Magneto? For a second, I thought about Pierce Brosnan. For a second. Oh. But, I, <laughs> but I but it was a run by fruiting. I let it go and I settled <laughs> on a I settled on a worse but fun choice. In, I want Dolph Lundgren as Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That he wins with, with my Ralph Fiennes, <laughs> Professor X, and Dolph freaking Lundgren. I must break Magneto. you, Professor he X. Dies, he dies. <laughs> he dies. If he dies, he dies. When he gets hit with the bullet in first class, <laughs> he asks him how he feels about his friend getting shot. If he dies, he dies. Man, if that's we got, what, if that's we what got. I want. He, if we got He Man to be Magneto, that is like just oh, the top, Brian, the top of cinema he making. He Man, a He Man reference. Masters of the Universe, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So, Mark, Marky Mark has already given us one of his bonus castings. I still haven't thought of a Silver Surfer. I have a. I have an X Men fan casting or Go bonus ahead. casting. Go ahead, uh, Mark. You you love Gambit. I love Gambit. Uh, being from Louisiana. Gambit is a way of life. Um, I'm going to go for Gambit. Um, Raj Jean Page from Bridgerton. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Yep. Bridgerton he, is life. People wanted him is for the though? next Bond. I don't think he's going to get Bond. So let's bring him to the MCU as Gambit. Oh, he would be a great Bond. Remy LeBeau. Bring it. I just want to go on record and say he would be an amazing Bond. So if I could piggyback off of Marky Mark, I chose. So my fan, my uh, my bonus was also Gambit. Gambit from the '90s cartoon was my favorite character. I thought he was the most interesting character in that '90s cartoon. We haven't gotten Gambit on screen save for uh, Taylor Taylor Kitsch and that. Well, the it, wasn't it wasn't awful. It wasn't awful. But yeah. it also like it was just not enough Gambit. I need a full Gambit movie. They tried for so long to get Gambit off of the ground with um, Channing Tatum. Yeah. Channing Tatum, and it just never happened. So if we're gonna get Gambit in the MCU, uh, I want to see. I know like he's more of a small screen guy, but I would love to see him make that jump to the big screen with Josh Ooh, Holloway. Oh yeah, Sawyer. It's yeah. Sawyer. It's Sawyer from Lost. He's in Yellowstone. He would be the perfect, perfect Gambit. I mean, he's got that jaded. He's uh, older though. Yeah, but oh. that's okay. He <laughs> Rob, be, he can be older. I mean, 
uh, Gambit's Gambit's kind of been through like that's the interesting Gambit is not the younger Gambit, but the one that's kind of like been really dragged around and beat up and bruised a little bit. So and that, and that's I didn't Gambit. pick I didn't pick Gambit as one of my two, but I did stop on it. And, I, and if I was going younger, like I was saying with Hawk from Cobra Kai as Wolverine, I was thinking Timothy Chalamet as Gambit. <laughs> Brian, so he could get, just get punched in the face. Yeah, Brian. Over yeah, Brian. Loves Brian loves him. Brian loves him. Yeah, he it. loves Timothy Chalamet. Yep. Oh, just look at him. You just want to punch him. Wait, Rob, who did you want him as? As Gambit. I. If I'm going in that, I think age he might be for... too short, though. Gambit's He's too like pretty. He's too yeah. pretty for Gambit. Oh, I just want to clarify. They, they, said, they said Johnny Depp was too pretty to play Jack Sparrow, and look what happened there. We made True. it work. Fair point. Good point. I, I just want to clarify. Was I was saying he was good as Gambit in Wolverine Origins. I was not saying Wolverine Origins was good. I just want to clarify. Taylor, Taylor Kitsch? Yes. I like that dude. John Carter. No, no. I'm saying he was good. Oh, I like John no, Carter, I too. Underrated. I just I don't, don't want people coming at me saying... You like Wolverine Origin? Friday, Friday Night Lights, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Taylor Kitsch. Yeah. Love him. So, Rob, Gambit wasn't technically one of your two. What is one of your other bonus ones? Oh, one of my two. I went, I went with villains. I'm going to tell you right away. I thought it would be fun to cast some villains. Um, I thought Nightmare would be a fun villain, and I figured Ooh. it would be a villain that would not stick around. It could be just one movie in and out. So I went with Jim Carrey. I thought would make an excellent Nightmare in a one-off movie for yep. – uh, I thought that would be a lot of fun. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah. Let me tell you something. And my second like one, and I think you could build this one over as many phases as you want to. I think it will work out great. I would love to see MODOK. I've been waiting for MODOK for years. And uh, Brian, I picked one of your voice actors, but I went with Bill Hader to play MODOK over years nice. and years in the MCU. Bill Hader would be a great MODOK. I think Jim Carrey would yeah. be a good MODOK. Depending on how far they're wanting to take this Modoc character, there's rumors that Bill Murray has been cast in the MCU in Ant Man and the I Wasp Quantumania, and there's a yes. lot of rumors that, that he's going to show up and that Modoc's going to be in that film. If it's a one and done, I don't think you can do one and done with Modoc. But if you I don't do, think so either. If you do, Bill Murray would be fun. Like I can't Is imagine too Bill old, Rob. I no, can't listen, imagine Bill Murray's a villain. You could put Bill Murray in anything. I'm not complaining. If they came out right now and said, you know what, we're going to make Iron Man alive and he's Bill Murray, perhaps he could be of some assistance. I'm in. We came. <laughs> we saw. <laughs> Mark Valentine, what is your next bonus one? I All right. So this one. one, I think this one's going to please Mark Adams. Marky Mark, you're going to be really happy with me, but I couldn't cast Gambit without getting a good rogue. Again, I'm a sucker for that 90s cartoon. And there was always that will they, won't they between Gambit and Rogue in that cartoon. And there was a lot of chemistry between the two. So my fan casting for Rogue, and I, uh, Mark is going to know who it is, but it's Alexandra Daddario, who is uh, Anna Beth from Percy Jackson. I Anthony, just think, Anthony in the comments is going to love that one. Yeah, I just... So, like, you have to go and... Uh, so she's Annabeth in the Percy Jackson movies. She's kind of, again, she's an up and comer, but uh, like she's got the look of, I mean, you don't even have to do a lot to her as, as far as like getting her to look like the character, just put a white streak in her hair. I mean, I thought Anna Paquin did it a really serviceable job in what we got. But I mean, when I think of rogue Alexandra did, uh, Dario is is so much better for me. I'm I'm okay I mean, if you if you leave that picture up in my place for like a little bit longer. I'm okay with that. Okay. Mark Mar Mark's gonna need a poster of that for his birthday. I I Mark I I don't know how I didn't think of that. I'm glad you brought that into this. I knew world. you would like that. That was for you, man. That was all <sighs> for you. Me. Thank you. She, she is in Baywatch with Zac Efron. I feel like that yeah. must just watch Baywatch on on Paramount. <laughs> all right, something. fine. You got and guys. Got you got casting. me. You're so going to say, yeah, you're going to say me. that about me having just watched Stranger Things because I also cast the rogue. And honestly, I think Millie Bobby Brown was would be a fun rogue. Um, but my number one choice is the daughter of Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke in Ooh. Maya Hawke. I think she would be a really good rogue. Um, she's in Stranger Things as well. Uh, my second fan casting is Mystique. We need Mystique in the MCU. Okay. We need the X Men. And I think Westworld's own Evan Rachel Wood would be a fantastic mystique. Bro, 
I'm on. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm good with that. Evan Rachel Wood, all about it. All Mark, about did you cast? Did you cast all your extras? You did Gambit. You did. Anybody have any other casting choices? Wait, that they Mark, want to put out there? who did you cast as Rogue again? Alexandra Daddario. He's just asking for the picture. Oh, you just want the picture back up? Yeah, I, I, can, I need. I can make that happen. <laughs> okay, there it is. That's oh, what he wants to say. That's what he wants to say. <laughs> you thought you thought you were going to roll me? Did you just rick roll me? Did you just rick roll me? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you thought you were getting that, and you got Professor. I can't Eck. trust you now, Mark. I can't trust you now. Really Come on, funny. you know you can't look away from a ball, Daniel Craig. I can't. You can't. It's like a, it's like an automobile. I thought accident. you did his eyebrows too, but no, they're there. Oh man, that's hilarious! All right, gentlemen, we will wrap like up. Tea. We will wrap up as we do on Earth's Mightiest Weirdos with a Family Feud question. Oh, I forgot about these. If you could have dinner with any Spider-Man villain, whom would you choose? Rob. Dr. Octopus. Number two, Mark Valentine. Green Goblin. Number one, Marky Mark. Mine's not going to make the list, but I'm still going to say it because I think him and I would have a wonderful time at a buffet. Rhino. <laughs> You're correct. He is not there. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be. <laughs> Rob. Uh, Venom. Number four. Who? Why would you want to eat with Venom? Do you understand the question? <laughs> Chickens. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be there, but uh, Hobgoblin? He is not there. I don't understand the number three. I will say that right now. I will tell you number five can absolutely put it down. Marky Mark. Kingpin. That is correct. He yeah. can put it down. He's number five. I wasn't gonna say that until you said that. I was like, Kingpin. Yeah. I, number th- again. Number three makes no sense. Rob. Vulture. No. Vulture oh. is not on there. I thought yeah. Sandman. That's a like, missed you opportunity. Food. Number yeah. three is Sandman. Sandman that makes no sense. No. Number so six, Electro. You know, number Anakin. Six, Electro. Number Anakin seven. Would not like to eat with uh, Sandman. Because he hates no, Sam. It's coarse. coarse. Yeah. It's everywhere. So gross. Yeah. I hate Sam. Craven and Lizard. So you were onto it with Lizard for a little bit for, with Rhino. I'm going to say Electro, but I'm like. That's just eight of the Spider Man villains that could be named. Mark Valentine, what is going on in this Diz Life land? Uh, this Diz Life this week, Dwayne and I are talking about the top five items you want to pack when going to Walt Disney World. And then we kind of made fun of ourselves with the top five things that we always pack. That you never use. What's number four on that list? I'm just curious. Uh, number four is like, we always bring ponchos and you never use them. Well, because you never remember them until it's raining and then you just buy a new one. Correct. Yeah. Marky Mark. Pack, that's, five ponchos and you never use them. That's Marky funny. Mark, what is happening in United We Fan world? Uh, let's see. Recently, we sent celebrated 10,000 downloads. So thank you fans for downloading us and listening. We appreciate you. Um, we recently did the world of James Bond a discussion about that. So if you haven't gotten enough of Mark's picture and you want more James Bond, feel free to listen to that episode. And then Brian, what is he talking about? I can't remember what picture yeah. it was. Oh, we're trying to feed him. Oh, anyways, in the meantime, until Mark can bring up that nightmare, um, Brian, oh God, there it is. Um, Brian's jersey is a great segue <laughs> to part one and part two of our Ted Lasso let- retrospective of season two with the man above us, Mark from This Is Live podcast. Thank you, thank you. And then Rob, we'll be getting you on for that musical episode sometime this year. So yeah, we want to put out into the ether of the fans. We're trying to work out the details of how we want to do a. Top five Backstreet Boys versus top five NSYNC songs. We need judges. We need people. We need unbiased opinions. So if you're interested in being a judge on United We Fan in a Backstreet Boys versus NSYNC battle, please Brian, let us know. tell them who you're going to be team and who I'm going to be team so that they know, like... I'm team winner in oh, NSYNC. Oh, boo. Say bye-bye-bye to that. And Mark is team Backstreet Boys. What is happening in Piano Land? Oh, my goodness. Only one uh, public gig this week, Friday night at the Boathouse. I got uh, some private events, weddings, and such over the weekend. 
Um, yeah, I only watched two episodes of Ted Lasso so far, but I'm going to watch more because they were lovely. Yeah, you've only got about 20 to so, go. What would it be if you got fired while putting your shoes in the trunk? The boot, putting your boots in the boot. Thanks, Coach. Gentlemen, for all time. Always. Always.